We're here with the new Jumper T Lite V2. That's right, a new version of Jumper's entry level, but still hobby grade radio. This is a radio that you can attach a module to that you can have a rechargeable swappable 18650 battery with, has actual gimbals, real hobby grade switches. Listen to that click, you hear that? And it also has Express LRS built in with Edge TX out of the box. Now, how does it compare against Radio Master's entry level wonder, the other gaming style controller on the market? The Zorro is actually a bit bigger. In the pictures, it's hard to tell that, but in real life, you can see it is a bit larger. And if you're considering which one is better, you're gonna have to decide which one's better for you. If you want something that is the exact size of an Xbox controller, you may want this one by Jumper. So we're gonna go through all of the features and compare these two, to figure out which one is better for you. Spoiler alert, if you want something that has the lowest price to get you in, but still have a screen to configure your quad settings, then this is it at about 80 bucks. You're gonna end up spending about 40 bucks more minimum for this version of radio. The Jumper T-Lite V2, the latest iteration of Jumper's budget entry level radio. Now this is quite a step up from something like these little beta FPV radios that were coming out that is pretty much the same size. Uh, and while this does have like similar gimbals and similar switches, this doesn't have any type of screen to do any configuration. So for about 80 bucks, you can get a screen to configure your OpenTX real switches, real gimbals, they are small. Uh, it's definitely a little small to try to pinch if you're a pincher, uh, but it's really perfect for a thumber. Now you might be thinking, what would ever make me choose this over something like the Zorro? Uh, and at first glance in the pictures, they look like they're about the same size, but as you can see, the Zorro is actually quite a bit bigger. Um, it's thicker, it's taller, and it's longer. Now, one thing I do like about the Zorro is that the antenna is built in. It has a larger screen, which doesn't really matter much at all, but I do like the traditional four button layout more than like this. This always kind of melts my brain because I'm so used to these buttons being in the same order back to radios as old as the Tyrannus. They all had like this similar button layout as well as your newer Radio Master things. Um, so even on this small one, this is a little bit more what we're used to, uh, but this works totally fine. I do like that it has a very small screen that's going to extend the battery life the gimbals are a bit smaller than the Zorro um, so keep that in mind but this is thinner and smaller this is really almost the exact size as an Xbox uh, one controller you can see right there they clearly modeled it off it has this little notch right here the same way that it does here so if you're used to a gaming controller this may be a good way to enter in so what circumstances should you get this this does use a single 18650 cell which is nice that's the standard that's the battery that we all have these cells right here whereas the Zorro uses a very uncommon 18500 cell which is a little bit annoying the gimbals on this are better but this is also the upgraded gimbals in here so the total cost of this would be $120 for the radio plus $100 for the gimbal so $220 well this one is only $80 so if you are gonna jump in this is kind of like the entry level point these you can get for like 40 or 50 bucks, but I would suggest getting something that you can configure your models with. This is the Express LRS version, uh, which is a popular option. So I do suggest you start with this if you're going to get one of these radios. If you do want to get a Zorro and be a little more future proof, you're going to end up spending $40 more right off the bat. And if you do want the option of upgrading your gimbals later, it's another $100 on top. So this is something that you can sim with, keep it as a backup keep it as a travel radio. Now note, this antenna, if you're gonna put it in a bag, you're probably gonna have to take this off. And there is a warning sticker right here that says, do not ever turn this on without the antenna on, you will mess it up. So before you power it on, uh, make sure that you do that. You see, I just actually, 
took this off while it was on for a few seconds so don't ever do that while you're on the bench leaving it powered on for a long time but a pretty nice option jumper was really um taking control of the game offering the first low price radios that we had seen in many many years after all of us were using tyrannus radio master has kind of stolen a lot of their thunder lately with the tx16s and the zoro look how much smaller this is than my tx16s it's just absolutely tiny in comparison now this is the radio that i typically use when i go racing but if i were to go on vacation this takes up a tremendous amount of room in the back this is smaller this is cheaper and the nice thing about express lrs is if i had my bind phrase on each of these radios i could use them interchangeably so for a vacation where i just need to go uh, fly a little tiny whoop or, or for a quick rip to the park something like this is nice i've been using my zoro in that same manner so if you don't have the budget i know a lot of people that are starting out want the absolute least cost option that is going to be decent and this can grow with you if you do have a budget though i still like the zoro a little bit better but um, very nice at jumper by pricing it cheaper so that you can have people that are looking for the entry level cost this is it thanks guys